Okay, but um, now we have another example here, tethering with you. So tethering with you, a tether ball of mass M is suspended from a length of rope uh, and travels with constant velocity or constant speed V in horizontal radius R as shown. So meron kang ball dito na pinapaikot mo ng ganun ganun siya. So the rope makes an angle theta with the vertical. Find A, the direction of the acceleration, B, the tension in the rope, and C, the speed of the ball. Okay, so again, I will just show you the solution in this problem. Okay, so how do we solve this problem? Again, now, ang importanteng tanong dito ngayon, nasaan ang direction ng radial acceleration? So where is the direction? Where is A pointed? Okay, let us draw the system. So again, you have a ball. You have a box and you have a ball. And this is some angle here, theta. The question now is, saan nagpo-point yung radial acceleration? Okay, sige. So again, this ball here is encircling this particular path here. Okay. Ang tanong ko ngayon, saan? So dito ba sa direction na to yung A? Dito ba pababa yung A? Dito ba pupunta dito yung A? palabas ba yung A? Nasaan? Saan yung direction dapat ng radial acceleration dyan? This is an important concept when we go to circular motion. Asaan ang direction ng radial acceleration? Nasaan? This, this is important. Huh? Nasaan? Dapat, ang direction ng radial acceleration ay papunta sa axis. It should be towards the circle created by the motion. Kaya nga circular motion eh. Dapat kung saan yung circular motion mo, yung plane na yon dun mo lang consider yung radial acceleration. Hindi siya papunta sa pivot. It's not towards the pivot. It should be towards the center of the circle created by the rotation or by the, by the motion. Nakuha? Therefore, the direction of the acceleration here is in this direction here. Dito yung A mo ngayon. Hindi sa iba. Ang direction ng acceleration sorry, nabura na yan, ay dito sa center C, the center of this circle created. Next, nakuha, bakit importante yun? Kasi yun yung magdedetermine ng radial tsaka tangential components natin. Okay, now let's draw a free body diagram again. If you draw a free body diagram, what will happen is this. So, drawing a free body diagram, so, ano yung mga forces na nag-act dun sa ball? No? What are the forces acting on the ball? No? What are the forces acting on the ball? No? I have the tension in this direction and I have weight downward. I have weight that is pointing downward. Paganyan. Tapos, as I said, the radial direction is towards the center. So, magkakaroon ako dito ng, um, magkakaroon ako dito ng direction na radial. Tapos ito ay tangential. And this is the angle theta. And this is our tension, and this is the weight of the tether ball. Now, so uh, after doing so, we can set up the equations of motion. So summation, uh, not this color here, summation of forces in the radial direction. Ayan. Ano mangyayari sa ball? No? Again, it should be para maintain yung circular orbit, it should maintain some radial acceleration. Which is what? Ano yan? Ano yan dapat? This should be equal to what? This is m v squared over r. Tama? Tama? Nakuha? Gets? I hope you get it. So you have m v squared over r. This is equal to what? Now, this t here has some vertical component. T, um, ito ay sine na to. Tapos may horizontal component ka na t cosine. Theta. So I have, um, this is just equal to T sine theta, the radial component of the tension, the radial component of the tension. And thus, we see the, here, um, but we don't have any expression yet for T. Hindi pa natin alam yung T. We need that, we need, we need the second equation for us to determine what T is. We don't know what the tension is yet. So summation of forces on the tangential direction is equal to what? Okay, ano gusto mo sa, sa tether ball? Ang gusto mo lang sa tether ball ay umikot siya. Ayaw mo sa kanya na gumewang-gewang na pagano. Ayaw mo umakyat baba yan. 
Kasi pag gumakit babayan, there is an acceleration in the tangential direction. We don't want that. Hence, what can we say about the summation of forces in the tangential direction? What can we say about it? Ano yan? Na? Dapat ito lang ay? Ano lang yan? Di ba dapat zero lang zero. yan? Yes, exactly. It should be zero. And therefore, this is just equal to T cosine theta minus mg. And thus, we have shown that the tension is simply mg over cosine theta. And thus, substituting this equation here, we get, therefore, mv squared over r equals t, I'm uh, sorry, mg um, times sine theta over cosine theta, which is tangent theta, implying that the velocity needed is simply square root of, the masses will cancel out, square root of rg tangent theta. Questions? So, Ito yung tamang sagot. Nakuha? Get ba? Nakuha to? Get to? Again, the direction of the acceleration vector is towards the um the, the circle formed by the by the motion. Yung center na yun, yung hinahanap mo. So dito, you have an axis. It should be perpendicular to the axis. So perpendicular yan. This should be perpendicular. Okay? The acceleration is perpendicular to the axis of, of rotation of the tether ball. Question. So, may tanong ba rito? Are there any questions in this particular topic? May tanong? May tanong? Wala? Okay, wala.